Hey guys, um, there has been a lot of confusion about how to use the Miso Pen, so let's just uh, explain everything uh, that comes in the kit one more time. So you have the pen, you have the vacuum base, and you have the charging station right here. So the pen can be either used with the vacuum base right here, or it can be used by itself. So once you have charged the pen, I'm gonna show you how you can adjust the settings on the pen, how you can hook up the syringes that came with it. I know there was some confusion because the original video I shot uh, showed the plunger uh, that was attached to the syringe, but the syringes that uh, the supplier sent us, the new batch with the black plunger does not actually have the plastic part that clips onto it. You can still use the uh, Miso pen with it, but these are the basic components of the pen. And again, you can use just the pen by itself without the vacuum mode. If you do have it hooked in to uh, this uh, hand grip handle, this one actually uses it with the vacuum. And so you have the vacuum tubing that goes in here uh, and the other part of it that actually goes on to the tip. Next, I'm going to show you how to uh, turn on the pen and adjust the settings. Okay, thanks. Okay, guys, here we have the uh, pen itself. Uh, I have fully charged it uh, before using it. And to turn it on, um, this is the on off button, but you have to press and hold it down. And then you will see the screen come on. And right now you can see um, what the setting is. You know, right now it's set to a 10 cc syringe. The mode is the dose, the amount with uh, that's injected uh, with each press of the trigger and the speed of the injection. So if you want an M1 and M2 are your preset savings. Uh, so I already kind of programmed one preset where I'm using a 5 cc syringe. The mode is a dose. Uh, the amount is 100 microliters or 0.1 ml and the speed is five. So all of these you can change. So if you want to change it, you press the IO button. And so again, the first part that's highlighted is the type of syringe. And you can use the up and down arrow key. You can use this with one, three, five, or 10 cc syringes. The one that's included in the kit is the five cc syringes. You press the IO button again to move on to the next one. There are two modes. There's the dose mode and then there's the continuous mode. The continuous mode basically uh, tells you uh, how fast it's injecting. So when you press the button down, it continuously injects the solution um, in the needle. What I typically use is the dose mode. So again, go back to it. And so with each press of the button or the trigger, you're gonna get 100 microliters or 0.1 ml injected. Next, you press the IO button, highlights the next one. You can go all the way from 50 microliters to 1,000 microliters, which is really just one milliliter. So typically I inject 0.1 ml of solution uh, with each press of the trigger button right here. Uh, the last setting is the speed. So the speed, you can either inject it slowly, maybe if you're using lidocaine, you wanna do it a little bit slower. Uh, if you're using some other B-complex vitamins, you can certainly do it faster as well. So, you know, you can just kind of keep it at three for now, I usually uh, keep it at five for everything besides lidocaine. And then press the IO button. And now this is set. Now, if you want to save this programmed, you just press the M1 button down and it saves it. Now, let's say you want to do a second preset where um, you want to actually uh, inject uh, let's say 0.3 mLs with each shot, and let's say the speed you want is you want to inject it slowly at two. You press set, and then now that you have these settings, press the M2 button, 
And so now you have these preset settings uh, saved. So if you click on the M1, you'll see that it reverts back to the dose, 100 microliters or 0.1 ml, speed is five if you press M2. Um, and that's set at 300 microliters or 0.3 mLs with a speed of two. This says the vacuum is off. For the vacuum to be active, the uh, handpiece actually has to be hooked on to the um, trigger handle right here. And that's when the vacuum is activated. Okay, so I think one of the confusing things was the original video I had done showed um, this specialized syringe with it, but it came with this plastic plunger. I think the newer syringes that shipped out actually just shipped out with the 5ml syringe without the plunger. So you can still use this, and I think for future orders, I'm gonna have them send us these original syringes with the plunger, which may make it a little bit easier to make solutions, but we can still use this. So we're gonna get the pen, right here. This is the plastic cap that you're gonna unscrew. Then you simply take this uh, pen and here's the little uh, thread with the, uh, the screw with the thread on it that simply screws on to the uh, syringe. Let me just turn it on. And once you screw it on and it's nice and snug, you can actually Push it all the way down and put the cap on it, like so, securing it place. Now, if you're just drawing up uh, a single solution um, with this uh, syringe, what you can simply do is you can get a needle, like so, hook it on. And then whatever solution you're using, uh, you could be lidocaine or uh, B-complex vitamins or whatnot. You simply push the needle in there and then you hold the down arrow key and you'll actually see the solution being drawn into the needle and you can kind of make out the bubble right there. And then you would simply put on the treatment tip right here and you're ready to use it and every time you press the button let me show you every time you press the button it's going to advance it what we have is as 0.3 mls so again every time you press it it's 0.3 mls and i can just advance it a little bit to clear the air but here you can kind of see the fluid come out so Hopefully this helps um, how you can just kind of put that syringe with the rubber plunger, screw it on, uh, and then just use this to actually draw the solution from um, whatever vial you're using. The challenge will come if we're mixing multiple uh, ingredients together, which I'm going to show you next. Okay, guys, this is the nine pin needle uh, tip that actually comes with it and the depth of the needle goes up to 2.5 millimeters. This is a manual adjustment you're making and there's this little wheel right here on the bottom that basically causes the needles to be uh, extruded uh, outwards. So holding it like so, if you turn it clockwise and you keep turning it, you're gonna see the needle start to come out from there. And uh, again, for most applications, I'm gonna have it all the way up about close to a millimeter and a half to two millimeters. And you'll see the needles start to pop out. And if you go all the way till you can't go anymore, that's about 2.5 millimeters. So you are kind of eyeballing it, uh, but here you can kind of see the tip of the needle is the shininess. I don't know if you can make those tips out. And that's how you adjust it, by either turning this little wheel clockwise to cause the needles to come out, or counterclockwise to have them go back in. And that's how you adjust the needle tip. 
Okay, this video is to show how to kind of mix a solution of different components and uh, preload it uh, into our pen, which already has the uh, tip with the plunger actually attached to it. So what we do is ideally you want to take a 5cc syringe because the volume in here is roughly 5cc. But remember the maximum volume I would put in here, even though this is a 5cc syringe, it's probably a little bit over four cc's, like 4.1, 4.2 cc's. So uh, I would just be mindful of that. So what you can do is you can fill in your base first. So let's just say we're gonna use three cc's of normal saline, kind of fill it to the three mark. You can take the tip off and then, you know, let's say next you're gonna be putting in you know, 10 units or 20 units of Botox. You put the Botox in there and kind of just put it in the opening and mix that in like so. Then if you need to put B-complex vitamin, you can uh, put that in um, as well. Uh, if you want to put a little bit of filler, just kind of use the uh, 27 gauge needle that comes with the filler syringe and put about 0.2 cc's in there. And then just to mix it properly, you can put like a lure lock on it. And then using another syringe, clip that on. And, whoops. Using another syringe, just clip that on. And you're just going to go back and forth with the solution um, until it's fully mixed. And then... Take the lure lock off, get a little bit of the air out and prime the fluid so it's at the tip of the lure lock. And then what you can do is just turn the pen on by holding the on off button, put the lure lock in there like this and then you just push down on this and you will see this plunger kind of come down and then you can unhook this. And now that solution has transferred onto this. Use the uh, up button just to prime it. So all the air is out. And now you have your pre-mixed solution. Again, if you're doing something like PRP, uh, you can just put an 18 gauge needle on top of this and just use the uh, down arrow uh, after the plunger is all the way to the opening too kind of withdraw the solution. And now again, this is ready to go. So hopefully this explains how you can actually use the syringes that you got uh, with the kit. Um, and you don't actually need this plastic plunger. Where this makes it easier is it probably saves wasting one um, syringe and mixing it back and forth. In all future orders, I'll get this one with this uh, plastic uh, uh, plunger that actually screws into the tips we got. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, thanks.